Welcome back. Bali residents have threatened to take law in their hands if Deepak Faldesai, an accused in the Bali carnage case, is not released within a fortnight. Bali residents have planned a protest on 15 September for a show of strength. Bali residents have alleged that politicians are trying to gain political mileage from the Bali incident. More than 300 residents from Bali had a meeting on Sunday morning at Bali Junction. They have unanimously decided to protest if Deepak Faldesai is not released within 15 days. They have demanded a release of Deepak Faldesai on conditional bail. Deepak Faldesai was arrested by the crime branch on 10th of June for his alleged role in Bali carnage in which two tribal were burnt alive. Five Uta leaders, including two MLAs, were also arrested by the crime branch and later released on bail after Uta people protested at Azad Maidan in Panji. Bali residents are now demanding a similar treatment to Deepak Faldesai. A reporter Ramesh Naik Raut in Bali for Prudent Media. South Goa SP is constituting a special cell to detect robberies that have struck Salseth in the past couple of months. Police are monitoring early morning buses and trains to keep a check on the robbers moving across the state borders. Police have also appealed for a cooperation of general public to prevent the robberies in and around Salse during Savat. Here is a report. <laughs> Just three days are remaining for Tsavad celebrations in Goa. But most worrying fact is that many places in the state, especially Salset, has witnessed steep rise in robberies in the past couple of months. Many shops, establishments and even residences have been looted by the robbers. Cops feel that these gangs might be operating interstate. Hence, police have intensified vigil on interstate traffic. One company CRPF has already been given. Now three platoons are also being given to SP South for this purpose. And in addition to that, we, he has been told to constitute special uh, cell to go after these thieves. During Savat, many families go to their native places. Police say people should lock their premises properly and also inform the nearest police station. A reporter from Panji, Lokik Shilkar, with video journalist Omkar Falari. The season for pilgrimage trips to Shirdi, Tirupati and Vilankani has already begun. Vasco MLA Jose Philip de Souza has booked two boogies for his supporters for a Vilankani trip. Miki Pasheko has also arranged special buses to Vilankani for his supporters from Nuve. It's all happening on a day when the nation and going cars too are celebrating Anna's victory in his first round of battle for corruption free India. Here is a report. Goa to Wellingtony bound train has been a great relief to Goan pilgrims. But politicians too now have an added advantage. Revenue Minister and Vasco MLA Jose Philip de Souza has booked two boogies of Yashwantpur train to Wellingtony, especially for voters from his constituency. This train will be stationed at Wellingtony for nine days. More than 150 voters from Vasco are travelling to Wellingtony for Novinas. They will return on 1st of September. On the other side, Mickey is working hard to gather support in Nuve constituency. He has booked around 9 to 14 buses for his supporters to go to Wellingtony. People say they will support Miki. Miki, 
सदा एक बार उतार दिला अपने सदा तुमका आधार आस्था उठा गया और हम लोग ये पार्टी हम सही जाटी है सदा सही बार बार बात कर The season of holy trips has begun. Upcoming assembly polls will be a limited test for Govans who intend to walk on the footsteps of Anna. A reporter Samir Bhatt and Surendra Madkaikar. News from sports after a short break. Stay tuned.